into in terms of right fit between the individual and the job. There has to be right fit, no compromise. So one of the first tasks is build the team. So one cannot claim that the institution is developed because I was there. It is not so. It is the team that is important. Create the team. Whether it was prestige or it was the JK Election Park University or it was here. One of the first tasks was build the team. And then at the same time, get more people who have the fit for the job that was to be done. Like here, here we had only engineering college, so we had people from engineering background. So there were other disciplines. Today we have 17 disciplines. So people had to come from outside, to, but without any compromise. It can't be because somebody is related to somebody, so therefore it, he will be there. No, no compromise is on selection. And it has, I, uh, I could maintain that principle. <coughs> in one of these institutions, one of the candidates was the was the brother-in-law of one of the sons of the promoter. He could not fare well in the interview. He was out. He could not be selected. So no compromise on the selection process. Take the best of the best. So when I uh, joined prestige, I with the beginning, from the beginning itself, selection committee had directors from IIMs. That time I am uh, in Lohar was just project. So we had project director, Dr. Asopa, he was on the selection board. Thomas Matthew, director of NITI, with whom I worked in NITI, he was on the selection So point is, the best of the people who can really help in selecting people on merit. No compromises. So whether somebody is related to somebody else, it doesn't matter. It is only merit that speaks. Further, developing trust. <coughs> trust building is important, as Nandigopal was also mentioning about trust. Trust is very important. And that trust building exercise is a long term exercise. So, it happens initially even sponsor or the sponsoring or promoter may try to find out whether you are trustworthy or not. So I have experienced, you even say prestige, I can say, in the beginning, they used to say in the evening, when it's 7, 7.30, there used to be, and invariably for a few days, blank calls. What was that? perhaps cross-checking whether the person is there. But then, trust building, as I said, is a long, long, long process of giving the message that I'm in business. On the third day of my joining prestige, nephew of the chairman was caught copying. He was doing MBA <coughs> part-time. Those days there used to be MBA part-time also. He was caught copying. Case was made and he completed MBA in four years instead of three years. No discrimination. The superintendent who was already there before me, he came to me and said, this has happened and what should we do? See, what would you do? Make the case as per procedure of the university. No sir, can you do that? What do you mean by it? Sir, he is uh, nephew of the chairman. So what? What is he here? So he has a student. Make the case. Next day, personal safety of the chairman was caught off. Make the case. And it was made. So, this gave trust that the person doesn't mean hanky panky, he means business. See, those days, during the admissions, the first day itself, I had a meeting with all those staff members who were present at that time, and also with this faculty. So I made it clear. So we have to follow, respect the procedure, respect the merit. So 
maybe about uh, three weeks later, admissions were going on. So my uh, the person uh, responsible for admissions came to me with the slip. So I have received a slip from the chairman's office. It is written, please admit. But he is not eligible. I told him, okay, give me slip and he cannot get it. He is not eligible, he is not And then in one of the first meetings with the chairman, I showed him, what is this? So he, he, he never expected this. He said, no, 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 I don't know why it has who has done it. Nothing like that. And it never happened thereafter. So you have built your confidence or trust that well, he means business. So there is a, that time it was growing, team was growing. As I said, team building is one of the first exercise. Out of those who are already there and out of those who will be coming later on. Those, they are also together. There has always to be a mix. It is never always all old and all new. Yes, all new happens when it is totally, for example, JK election, but nothing was there, not even land. So there is no question of having people. The first appointment I did was for my driver. Second appointment was for the personal assistant. And that's how it started. So the team building is important. Everybody needs to be involved and part of the whole process. So even at that time, we, we worked together, interacted, discussed. Whosoever was there, later on, we, did, uh, uh, we, we uh, appointed the faculty, we appointed other staff, and collectively everyone knew what we are doing. So that, uh, I think Nan Gopal or Dr. Uday um, mentioned about this transparency. So things are transparent, how we are taking decision, what decision we are taking, and so on. So that developing team spirit and positive interaction among people is very, very important. That team spirit has to be. So even if we would, even if um, say timing was say up to 5.30, we would cross that. No, no, nobody bothered about time. We would keep discussing, we would try to evolve for where we are going. Further, next point is sufficient autonomy. You will get there. sufficient autonomy. That has to be there, not only with the leader, but autonomy is also for the faculty. In fact, what I understand and what I have learned in this whole journey which of journey of institution building, which I started in 1996, that is now 27 years, I have learned that each and every one is a contributor to institution building. No one is separate. It is wrong to say faculty is separate, non-teaching is separate. Everyone is contributing his or her own way. Faculty has a role, direct role. Even so have the non-teaching people. They are supporting people. Even a sweeper. If a sweeper does not clean properly, we cannot sit in the home and we cannot discuss, we cannot decide. Everyone contributes every day. Next is opportunities for upward growth and development for those who are competent. Again, that's very important. So what I have learned, one of the best styles of leadership is, for example, what I realized over the period of time, in the last 27 years, your acceptability as a leader or as a team member is, if you demonstrate by example, perhaps I was accepted by my team because I was demonstrating what I was saying. I would always emphasize on, say, research, publications. And it was taken seriously. Perhaps why? Why? Because I was myself a researcher. I was publishing continuously. It was not just saying because by karma chahi aapko you should do it and myself not doing it or myself simply riding the shoulders of other person okay you write and put my name. Never, I have never done it. 
not even a single case. So demonstrate with dream. 